You can use dynamic panels in a bunch of ways, from masking images to showing different elements in the same area on a screen. They're like mini canvases that you can place elements into and switch between when you're simulating your prototype. Let's learn how to use them. First, we'll learn how to mask an image. Right-click on an image on the canvas, go to Group, and then select Group in Dynamic Panel. The image is now within a dynamic panel, and you can use the indicators to resize the panel around the image. You can also double-click on the panel to select the image inside and move it around. Next, let's learn how to create a step-by-step -step dialog. From the toolbar, go to Dynamic Content, and then select and drag a dynamic panel to the canvas. You can also hit the D shortcut to create one. Now, we can place content in the panel. To do so, select an element, hold the Command key on Mac or Control key on Windows, and drag the element inside. You'll see the panel tint a blue-green when you're dragging an element into it. Repeat this for each element you'd like to add. You can also drag elements from the canvas into the panel using the Layers palette. Once you've designed the panel, look for the floating menu and click the plus icon to add another one. You can easily switch back to view your other panel using the floating menu or the Layers palette. Drag elements into this panel as well. If the panels contain similar content, you can right-click on the first panel and duplicate it. Now, it's time to add interactions so you can switch between the panels during simulation. Select an element in the panel that you would like to trigger the switch. Go to the Events palette and click Add Event. Choose an on-tap trigger and a Set Active Panel action. You'll use the Set Active Panel action anytime you want to switch between panels. Next, select the panel you'd like to set as active from within the Events Layers palette. Add a transition effect if you'd like, and click OK. You'll see the event you just created in the Events palette. Go to the next panel and add the same event. This time, choosing another panel to set as active. Click the Play button to simulate your prototype and see how it works. Note that the panel you created first will show by default when you simulate. You can change this by selecting the Dynamic Panel and going to the Properties palette. There, you can change the default panel to a different one. Check out our tutorials on justinmind.com to see what else you can do with dynamic panels.